Are you in touch with your wild creative? Do those two words, wild creative, freak you out a little bit or do they really excite you? Well, I want you to stay tuned because in this video, we're gonna talk about why it's time for you to get creative. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video each Thursday. Welcome back to the Inner Fire Book Club. Today we are looking at Wild Creative, written by Tammy Lynn Kent. This book is chock-a-block full of incredible information, all about how we can tap into our creative spirit, why creativity is the new currency, and how you can cultivate your creative force. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my five key takeaways from this book. Stay tuned. Key takeaway number one, define your creative. What does it mean to you to be creative? I think all too often we put up these barriers and think that being creative means we're dancing or singing, that we're writing poetry or sculpting or painting. The, the truth is creativity can manifest in a myriad of ways. Maybe for you it means that it's getting down on the floor and playing with your kids. Maybe you're cooking a gorgeous meal for your family. Maybe it means that you're putting together a really gorgeous Excel spreadsheet for you to track your finances. The thing is, creativity is defined by us. It doesn't have to be defined by anybody else. So tune in and assess for yourself, when do I feel most creative in my life? Key takeaway number two, make intentional space for your creative. Now, Tammy Lynn Kent talks about this in terms of form and inspiration. We need the form of the thing that we're doing, right? The activity that we're engaging in, whether it's creating that spreadsheet or playing with our kids, going for a walk in nature or taking time to write some poetry. So you need the form itself, but then you also need the inspiration. The inspiration is that motivation to allow your creative spirit to come through. So when you're creating that intentional space for your creativity to manifest, you need to think about what is it that you want to do, but then also what's going to motivate you to make that happen. Putting form together with inspiration is that magical recipe that allows you to create that space for your creative flow to emerge. And Tammy Lynn Kent recommends that we do this on a daily basis, finding those small moments of time where form can come together with inspiration. Because remember, creativity takes practice. Which brings me right into key takeaway number three, we need to practice our creative. Creative energy isn't a one and done. Creative energy needs attention, it needs care, it needs love. We can't truly emerge into our creative flow if we're doing it sporadically. It needs time and tending and attention on a regular basis for us to fully step into our creative power. If you think about it, it's like tending a garden. You can plant seeds in the ground, but if you never water them, stuff might not happen, or at least when it does happen, it might be a little less than desirable in terms of what we grow, what we manifest in our garden. Much like a garden, our creative energy needs to be watered. It needs to be weeded. It needs to be looked at and assessed. Is this working for me? Does this feel good? Is this aligned with who I am? Much like a garden, our creative flow is organic. But in the organic nature of that flow, it needs that consistent time, care, and attention. How and when do you feel most creative? Let us know in the comments below. Key takeaway number four, the creative needs both masculine and feminine energy. Now, this was really interesting to me because I've always felt as though and have read a lot about how the creative force is very much the feminine. And it is. Tammy Lynn Kent talks about this in her book that 
the creative energy and the creative force actually resides in our pelvic bowl, regardless of if we identify as male or female, that this is an energy that exists within all of us located in that energetic center of our body in the pelvic bowl, which happens to contain a lot of feminine energy, yes? So we need that feminine energy and we need to know how to tap into that. And the feminine is what Tammy Lynn Kent calls the flow. However, we also need the masculine energy, which she calls the go. So the masculine is what will bring that feminine creative into production. Yeah, it's the thing that actually gets us doing the thing. We can dream all day long, but if we don't actually take action to make our dreams a reality, then we're missing half the equation. So we need both feminine and masculine energy in order to allow our creative to fully come alive. I wanna take a minute to read a passage from her book on this idea of the masculine feminine energy combination. Let me bring it up here. So she writes, rather than running your engines on high in the strive and drive model, right? That's the model that all of us tend to follow. Using the feminine masculine flow is like surfing an energy wave. She labels this model as flow and go, what I just described. When feminine energy is moving, a person can receive this energy and let it build until the movement shifts into a more productive phase. That's the masculine energy taking that feminine flow and bringing it into production. Takeaway number five, be willing to let go of linear thinking. Yeah, I know <laughs> this is a big one because we live in societies that take you step by step through things. It's almost like we have a handbook through life, right? You go to school at this time, maybe you go to secondary education at this time, then you get a job, then you, you know, pick your career and you just step through it. And then in that linear thinking, we also are supposed to acquire things that resemble what success means. Yes, a house, a car all of these things, right? That's a very linear way of thinking about our life. If you're in the creative, you get to let go of that. You get to live your life how you want. And you know, you know me, and you know that I say that self-care is the pathway to personal empowerment. When we are personally empowered, we can walk our path of purpose confidently. We don't need that linear thinking to confirm that we are on the right track. We feel it inside. So that key takeaway number five, letting go of linear thinking, this is a big one for allowing the creative force to inform what you manifest in your life. Are you feeling inspired to live more creatively? I hope you are. I know that I am. Tammy Lynn Kent's book, Wild Creative, is full of exercises, inspirational case studies that she talks about where she's had experiences with her clients and it's a really informed way of looking at how we can manifest a much more creatively fueled life. I hope you will check it out. The next book we're going to be diving into for the Inner Fire book club series is The Alter Ego Effect by Todd Herman. I'm really excited to dig into this one. A lot of people are talking about it. I've listened to a couple of interviews with him about this book, so I'm excited to get started. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video each Thursday. If you know somebody who could use a little bit more creativity in their life, be sure to share this video with them. Do you need a little support in walking your path of purpose? Are you ready to start living creatively, listening to your inner wisdom? If you are, I want you to book a free empowerment session with me. It's one hour, you and me talking about the things that are most important to you and the shifts you want to manifest in your life. I'm going to include a link so that you can book your session below in the description. Thanks so much for joining me today. Stay ignited out there. I will see you soon. Bye.